I was 10 years old when I first heard the word menses. Uh, I was in class six and it was in school during class. It was part of our science lesson. I was 12 years old, um, 12 years and eight months. I was in class eight. I was pretty young for, like I was the youngest in my class. I think I was two years younger than most people. Um, I was in school. I wasn't really expecting my period on the day, but um, it was one of those accidents that happened and um, someone had to tell me that I had a stain on my dress. So I went to the, um, to the bathroom and I was just like, whoa, uh, what, what bloodbath is happening? But I, I, I knew what it was because um, I had learned about menses two years prior in class six. So I, at the time I was very familiar with what periods are. So I just wrapped a sweater around my waist and went about my day. It was towards the end of um, the school day, so I think I had maybe 40 more minutes before we went home. Um, it was a bit of a shock because I didn't expect it and I also didn't expect to see all that blood. <laughs> um, but it didn't hurt, it wasn't painful or anything and not many people noticed actually. Um, and so when I went home, I just took off my underwear um, and I, I think I threw it, yeah, I threw it away because I was like, okay, that's um, a mess. And I didn't really tell anyone <laughs> just because I didn't expect it. It was one of those things where I was like, I didn't expect it to come so soon. At least at the time I felt like it was really soon. And it was just that, that's the only thing. After that, I, it, I stopped bleeding and then it didn't come again until the next year when I was in high school. I was 13, it was my first term, and that's what I felt like now. That was the proper period that lasted four days and I was prepared with pads and everything. So I feel like I had two first times, at least in my head, yeah. <laughs> I guess maybe I can say mentally I wasn't prepared the first time, but I, I knew the information, I knew about periods, I knew what my body was doing. Um, so one, I didn't expect it to come at the time and also I was expecting it to then last longer, but it didn't, it was just like that first time. It just happened that one time and that was it on the first day and then it stopped, it was done. So I didn't really need products, I didn't need to stock up on anything, so I was okay. So I would say that I was prepared in terms of mentally knowing what is happening, but not really like, I wasn't ready for my body to start periods. When, it, when the period, when I felt like my period then started like, okay, so this is what a normal period is. It's calm, it's, going, it's lasting four days. I was in high school, I was in boarding school. So when I was doing my shopping for my first term, I had purchased had, so I knew that um, they might come again. I was also a bit confused because they came that August, my birthday is in January, so August is when they came when I was 12 years and eight months. And then the next time they came was maybe March of the next year. So when they came, I wasn't too surprised. I was like, oh, here you are, welcome back. <laughs> it's been a few months, but, uh, and then it was normal. There was no, Discomfort, I think I was very lucky to be one of those that didn't experience cramps or discomfort. I had my pads ready, I knew how to use them and um, the school I went to, they also had sort of like um, a training of sorts with all the Form 1s to let us know, you know, many of you haven't started your period and when you do, this is how to use pads, this is how you put them in the underwear. So I was prepared, I think. I was, I was well prepared, I, was, I had what I needed, no, at the, second, the second time around, no accidents or anything like that. And there had been people who had who'd spoken to about their periods and like from ones who had started already, so I was, I was pretty ready. So when it comes to m menstrual challenges, I I think I'm, I'm 
I've been very privileged <laughs> with my cycle. Um, it's been pretty regular. I've been tracking it for the longest time. I started tracking maybe years ago. I would just write like the length of the cycle and it's been pretty regular. Some points in my life when I do work out and I'm super active, it's even shorter. Um, but it's been regular, it's been comfortable. I think when I was around 23, 24, maybe that's when I started to experience some discomfort, but it wasn't, I wouldn't say it's painful in terms of what I, I know from other people their cramps can be like. Um, but aside from that, when it comes to challenges, I wouldn't say that I've experienced any. I've had access to products, I've had access to information, I've had access to support, and um, my body has just been pretty regular um, for the entirety of my, since I started. Yeah. Um, I think when speaking about myths, because um, I learned about periods and the body biology and physiology of what our bodies do pretty young when I was 10 and I learned this in school. I think the first information that came to me around periods and menses was informed scientific information that we learned in school. So any myths after that, I haven't heard. I mean, aside from, I think my mom was very shy <laughs> when it came to talking about um, sex and our body. So after my first term of high school when she came to pick me up from school I remember we were driving home and she asked me so did you start your period and I was like mm-hmm she was like okay so you know if you look boys in the eye now you can get pregnant and I was like mm-hmm and that was it that was the end of our conversation <laughs> so and I knew what she meant by looking boys in the eye um, but aside from that like I said because I've had access to information I haven't really heard any myths or have had to believe any myths around periods. And I think once the internet became more accessible, I've been able to sort of just Google any questions I have around my body or, um, yeah, periods on my cycle. So myths, none whatsoever. I would say to any girl out there that um, there's no shame around periods or your body or what your body does to sort of, you know, do its thing. So the only thing I think uh, I would say based on my experience is just taking away the shame around speaking about our reproductive health, our menstrual health and um, periods and menses because growing up, you know, that was a thing that we didn't really speak about um, openly, like it's not part of conversation day to day. And um, I think also just encouraging girls to know that, you know, menses are not dirty. It's not um, something that you need to sort of isolate yourself around. It's normal. It's something that happens every month at least, or, you know, it's something that happens regularly or for those with irregular periods it's just something that our body does that we shouldn't be ashamed about um, so you know I just think it's taking away that shame around it and it should be open it should be something that you can speak comfortably about whether with men or women in your life it should be something that um, you, you can reach out to there's information around it um, to use the internet, to find out information, to ask questions. There's no question that that's too, that should be embarrassing around your body. And yeah, I think just letting young girls know that this is something that our body does. It's something that our body is going to do into adulthood. It's something that, you know, our, our bodies also are different. So how you experience um, your periods could be different from the next person. So don't think that there's something wrong if, if your body's not doing what your friend's body is doing. And yeah, it's, it, it should be okay to ask questions and to learn as much as possible around your bodies without any shame around it. That's what I would say. <laughs>